okay quick tuesday morning radar update so it kind of looks pretty flat out there at a first glance doesn't it in the uh in the markets little gap down in the small caps little punch through the open range on on the dax same with the FTSE 100 250 above the opening range so that being said it's actually a little bit of volume starting to come into stocks today so we're, we're going to have a quick buzz through the volume leaders first things first let's just revisit a few uh lines in the sand i've been banging on about for some time maybe uh, go visit uh share scope tutorials and uh have a look at the ones i've shared on on twitter maybe and to uh, get a feel for a few of those lines in the sand we've been watching so obviously pound us dollar cable basing out breaks out first pullback swing move second pullback swing move moving on stocks will put stay stocks will trade like stocks products will trade like products Price action is price action. You know, if if something's going higher, it will break out. It has to, you know. Quick look at the dollar. So we've been uh, banging the table on these levels here. Dollar is on the floor. Um, sat on the 50 month, I would say. 20 month there. Uh, Moving on from that, let's just go and have a look at TLT. So TLT, it's just basing out, going sideways. It's been going sideways for 10 months. You know, should, should we draw a line? Do you remember the line we drew on the, do you remember the line we drew on, on the US dollar here? All the way back here. You know, the dollar started uh, respecting some sideways action here. So we drew it just, you know, up or down. Choose your poison. Could do it here as well, couldn't you? Stay up or down. Back to TLT. Up or down. Yeah, I'm kind of veering on the up myself, but, you know, we will see. Same to 10 here, just uh, basing out as well there. Let's go and have a look at Bitcoin. This is the ETF. I, I'm delayed. I'm on. I'm delayed uh, by a day now on the. Uh, I say now because it used to be two days. <laughs> on the uh, Bitcoin US dollar. Bit of a th a theme I've been sort of going through last night in in the end of day screening is. Everyone wants to buy the exact low, don't they, in a move? So let's let's just revisit. You know, you by by the time it's how how many percent off the lows? I don't know. You know, look at that. Pro probably 50, 60 percent off the lows on in this stick here. You know, off the lows. Everyone says it's an uptrend. Told you so. The lows are in. But, you know, for those of us who actually trade and invest for a living, you go, well, how am I going, going to apply money? How am I going to trade it? How am I going to apply money management to that bit of wisdom? <laughs> and and uh, basically, the best way to apply money management to something what's rising is just to wait for it to consolidate and, and then draw a line. Because by drawing that line... You, You've, you, you've got a reward to risk scenario. You, you've got a wrong area and you've got a long area. And uh, that's why we drew this line all the way back here on Bitcoin. And um, it broke out. Again, everyone said, yeah, I told you, you know, I told you the bottom was in. Everyone who's been sort of talking the book down here told you it was going to break out. It's up 120%. You know, what does it do? It just comes in and uh, does a normal retrace. 
and off it goes on its journey again. And uh, you know, we'll do it again. We'll go back to this pullback. Great price action, I will add. We drew this this pink line here, purple line. It dropped through that, and th and then it active low, higher low, higher high, and it went on this first run. Now th this is, you know, past price action does not tell you what the future price action is going to do. But what I can say is that, you know, when you see a line in the sand, what's been tested twice, you know, double top. It, it takes a double top to basically create a meaningful breakout level. And the reason you won't find many double tops or double bottoms in, in charting is basically because m most of them are a continuation pattern. So, you know, double top. And then bang it goes through you know that that is i trade towards double tops continuously so we get this action here it comes all the way back into near 52 it lows comes off the lows bases out this was the setup this day here and this was the pullback on i think it was that day there you can zoom into that Go to the share scope tutorials, rinse and repeat. Price action will always happen. It wasn't that day there, actually. It was that way day there. It it punched up through the swing low. No, it was that day there. There it is. That day there, it hit our screens again. Now, you walk that forward. Very simple. So when you look at these charts, we go through... There's going to be a couple of trades I, I'm actually in. Um, basically, you know, back to Bitcoin. What do we want? I want to, I want to see a consolidation. I don't just want to see a straight channel off the lows. I want to see a consolidation. Well, what if it doesn't happen? I'll move along. I'll move along to the next good, good opportunity. In fact, I don't dwell over, you know, I do not want to trade Bitcoin US dollar. I will trade it if the setup turns up you know you know what i mean i'm i don't come at the markets wanting to trade um edward treetops uh, fantastic stocks i come at, come at the market looking for the fantastic opportunity in one of the best growth stocks and i will trade the line in the sand that way so you know the, the market basically dictates what i should be trading price is always right So, moving on from that, I'm going to hit the volume leaders today, and we're going to see a few in here. So, straight away, you know, do not blindly follow anybody into stocks they are riding. But, um, real simple. Lines in the sand, trading basis. So, choppy stocks. Kind of ignore these. These are not vehicles for price appreciation. It might be vehicles for dividend investing, but not for what we do. Too sloth-like. Um, RCDO, clean break there. Not one for me, but, you know, it, it ticks the boxes I like to tick. Famous last words. Can't be in everything either. Reynolds a bit more of a choppy one, this. And... Uh, I'll do the old zoom it out. Has he ever traded nice price action? The answer is no. You know, it's... Hills. Yes, went through the screens. You know, talked about it in detail. It's a, it's a 250 stock, you know. It's going to soak up a bit of capital take, taking trades in 250 stocks. So when I do to trade trade a trend in, in a 250 stock, I try and pick something what might have a bit more beta myself. I'd rather have a loser in, in a high beta stock than a, the winner, than a winner in a sloth, you know, because I'm always shooting for those, those uh, more aggressive trending stocks. Certainly... Not my way or the highway. You choose your own lanes, don't you? You go. So it, it punched through this base. Um, you know, it's a loose base. 
it is what it is. Stage ones are tend to be like this. It's not. A, it's you know. It's going to soak up a lot of capital. The the trouble I have with this is um, I've never traded it. Though we've charted it all the way back to 2015. Breakout, first pullback, higher highs, new base, breakout. You know, new base, breakout, and then it and then it went into this all this loose action back in 18. Broke broke out first pullback, then the pandemic did did a rug pull. Risk management uh, heat overrides in that area. But uh, yeah, then it went off on a little sort of trending run again. It, it you know, it went through the screen so many times, but uh, I don't like all this supply here. Choosing, we get to choose our own battles. We get to choose where the battle takes place. That was what I was talking about as well. So I don't like where the battle is taking place here. AT on the other hand, you know, curse my own stock, but this one's, you know, the, the battle took place on, on, on previous uh, resistance becomes support. And this is where the battle take took place, higher high. I've added to this position as well. And um, first pullback, previous uh, resistance becomes support. Little zone of interest here. Not saying it's going to be pretty, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be pretty and go straight back up. You know, it could roll over and stop me out. But, uh, yeah, a little bit more what I'm looking for in my world. Coming out of a bear market, you know, I know I've been saying this, this for eight months, but, you know, I, I'm at the screens devouring the screens every day because you know and, and a lot of people I'd, I'd say 90 percent of people out there are all doom and gloom and they're, they're saying we're not coming out of the bear market well still you know i'm going to exist and i'm going to buy breakouts and i'm going to you know align my risk with, with how bullish the market is and, and if we're not coming out of a bear market and we do roll lower um it is what it is but guess what you know you, you have to turn up and uh people still in cash since since the gfc you know then they'll never you know there's people who will never get back in the markets since just just a sustained sort of bear, bear run we've had over the last sort of 18 months this one here as well you know it's very unpopular to just just uh, give an honest uh, opinion on something what's being pumped to high heaven and it's got absolutely no gas in the tank on this run here and um, it it was all hot air wasn't it and, and no no real gas in the tank so that's why it came down here that's why it's down here this thing now has forward numbers you know go and have a look what it used it had back here it's now got some forward numbers what am I going to say? Well, I, I want to see some price action, don't I? You know, it's gapped up today and a little bit of news. Uh, we cannot, you know, the news is not a surprise. You know, anyone who was looking at, it's just that the, the gap it is basically everyone who doesn't read the news but chases r and isn't it? You know, it's, the, the news is no, well, obviously there's always some kind of surprise in the news, but there's no news that it had for, gas in the forward numbers. You know, it's, 5.3 to 48 on on the pre-tax earnings per share 0.2 to 6.2 um turnover ticking up but decelerating year on year 415 to 545 that is what you know that is what we're at today before whatever's in this report filters through into those numbers so i haven't read it but uh yeah That's how stocks trade, isn't it? If if it's going to basically start to execute, it will start to trade like a stock in play and it will have price action. Epic. Radar today, a long one. Um, so net call, yeah, very thin stock. Guess what? You know, 
talking my own book again. Um, I can I can see a trade going through has been filling today. So this has gone from just uh, sleep mode into um, you know up, up five six percent just in in a matter of uh, morning. So there's an order fill in. You'll see the order come through in an R and S in a few days. It is what it is. You know, no crystal balls here. Um, the trend is up. I'm riding the trend. Happy days. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Compare that with, even though it's uh, you know very thin, and you know big big stocks. What I talked about today. You know. Many of them were very thin, small stocks in the past, and they 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 grow into liquidity and they grow into um, better, you know, grow into better times, I suppose. As the risk unwinds, so does the trend. Uh, weather spoons here, so you know, clean lines in the sand, same same. You know, it's it's more of a. a an efficient main market stock again as we know so so that's what's in the volume leaders today it's just not, there's 34 in there at this point in time there's probably more now but um we haven't seen a day of volume in two weeks three weeks i don't know so it's nice just nice to go through a little bit of process in there and um you know talk about the merch <laughs> okay